Hi, I'm Emily. Welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to talk about backgrounds for your collage quilt. So there are a few options that you have and I just thought I'd explain them and show them um, demonstrated with some of my quilts. So first of all, uh, with my foundation panel quilt, I have designed this so that you can use the white as the background and I love this because then you just have fun doing the interesting part of the collage and the white provides a dramatic contrast between the negative space and the beautiful colorful part, part of the quilt. So number one, you can leave when you're using a foundation panel as in some of my quilts, some of my quilts have foundation panels or my patterns, um, you can leave it white. The next option is to take that foundation panel and cut it away from the background that you're not interested in using. So the what the you know the leftover background you can cut that away and then take just the collaged piece and apply it to a background of your choice. Now that background can be pieced like this quilt or a solid piece of fabric. And the way you would do that is after you have collaged and you've cut this out then you're just going to run a thin piece, a thin bead of glue all the way around it and just smash it down onto the background of your choice, okay? The next way to handle um, the background is again with a foundation panel, if you don't wanna leave it white and you don't wanna cut it out, the other option that you have is to collage from edge to edge as I've done in this quilt. So you can see that it's a very subtle, beautiful background. It's not solid, um, but it's very light and it has a more ethereal artistic quality. So I love that. Now these three quilts are all uh, foundation panel quilts. And this quilt here is created using my parchment pressing method. And in a later, in another video, I'll explain the differences between foundation panels and the parchment pressing uh, patterns, which this is. This is a part a, a pattern that's been created using my parchment pressing method. And that gives you ultimate control because um, you're creating each piece individually. So then you can decide on the background of your, uh, for your composition. Again, it can be either pieced like, you've, like you see here, or it can be a solid background and that background can be whatever you choose. So I'll talk more about that in another video, but that is how to finish. Um, there are three ways to finish your, your background. I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, you can always find me, emily at collagequilter.com, and you can find me um, on my website, collagequilter.com, and I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks, goodbye.